Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com. We're a Utah-based company with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips about using the iPad, and I know you're going to love them. Now I'm going to show you how you can open video or other types of files using SMB sharing on the iPad. So on your iPad, there are several different ways of sharing files from your computer to it. We've already talked about some other ways, like using Dropbox and Air Sharing, which are more of web services. But since we're talking about SMB sharing this time, SMB is more of a Windows protocol, which the iPad doesn't really support so well. However, there are applications. If you go to the App Store and do a search for SMB files, you'll find applications like File Browser, Files Connect, and Easy Share Pro, which will allow you to connect directly to your computer using SMB sharing. But if you're uh, trying to connect to your computer, you may want to ask yourself, what types of files am I trying to get at? If it's, say, a video, I can really recommend you an app called Air Video. Air Video installs on your computer and installs on your iPad. And essentially what it does is you'll go ahead and you'll add your computer in the list. And if you're actually connected to the same network as your other computer, it will find it automatically. And then what happens is that you will go ahead and see all of the video files that your computer has on it, and Air Video will be able to play them. Even if they're not in iPad format, Air Video will go ahead and convert them on the fly so that you can watch them. Now, if some of the files that you're trying to access are, say, photos or otherwise, you may want to just go ahead and use things like Dropbox or Air Sharing put the photos onto those services, and then you can access them through these applications. If you're trying to access specific files, you may want to set up air sharing to access you know, different accounts, like an FTP account. But again, we're talking more SMB. You may want to go ahead and set up LogMeIn. Now, LogMeIn, if you're not familiar with it, is a service that allows you to remotely control your PC from anywhere where you have an internet connection. You can control your PC, your Mac, it doesn't really matter. But LogMeIn also gives you the ability of viewing all the files on that computer and being able to transfer them to the iPad. So for instance, you had a PowerPoint, you could go ahead and use the LogMeIn application, bring it onto your iPad, and then work with it in an application like Keynote or uh, QuickOffice. So whenever anyone asks me, can I get files from my computer to my iPad, I always ask, what type of files are you looking at? Because there's generally an application that will work really well depending on the application or the file type that you're looking for. Again, my name is Chase Thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com, and I've just showed you how you can open video files or other types using SMB on the iPad.